When running a rolling release, it is only a matter of time until something breaks again, especially in a case like mine where I use a lot of AUR packages, packages upgraded separately from the rest of my main system. And it wasn't just some random package that I don't really care about that broke. It was Peru, my AUR helper itself. I was in the process of planning out a video on Better Bird, and I got this error. It's very clearly laid out. It's some sort of missing shared library. But that's the problem. What this shared library actually is. So there is a command built into Pac-Man to check which packages contain which files, but whenever I actually need it, I always forget the command. A much more consistent way is to take that name and then stick it into a search engine. Now that name should have set alarm bells off straight away, because that's a library from OpenSSL, which I'm pretty sure I have OpenSSL installed. I've been working on my system all day. If it wasn't working properly, surely that would have caused an issue with something else on my system. But just to make sure, I went and double checked that it's actually installed. Now, if it is installed or it's outdated, do not actually install it like this. Make sure you go and do a proper system update, but for checking it's installed, it's perfectly fine. And yeah, I have the latest version available. So at this point, I was pretty stumped, but I tend to be fairly slow at upgrading my system, maybe once or so a week. So usually when problems happen, they're discussed before I actually have to deal with them. Now, maybe luckily, unluckily, I don't really know. This was a lot bigger of a problem than I initially thought it was. It wasn't just an issue with Peru, both libssl and libcrypto were causing a bit of a problem. And there are tons of projects that touch these libraries, most notably ArchZFS, where if this issue happened, it could leave your system in basically an unbootable state. But this is the risk you take relying on the AUR and relying on third-party repos outside of the main Arch repos managed by the Arch team, adding in unofficial repos and then just hoping that everything basically works. This is why those operations, while being able to happen, are not technically supported by the Arch team. So what Arch Linux did is a totally normal thing to do. They upgraded a package specifically OpenSSL. Previously, it was on OpenSSL 1.1.1 and just finally made the jump up to 3.0.7. Now, while that might sound like a really crazy jump to make, it's not actually as weird as you might think. So over on the OpenSSL website, we have this note here. The latest stable version is the 3.0 series, that's 3.0.7 and things like that. And this is going to be supported until the 7th of September 2026, so still four years into the future. This is also an LTS version. The previous LTS version, the 1.1.1 series, is also available and supported until the 11th of September 2023. But as for the older versions like 1.1.0, 1 1.0.2, 1.0.0, 0.9.8, 0 .0, which you can still install and you can use on a modern system, are now out of support and should not be used. Users of these older versions are encouraged to upgrade to 3.0 as soon as possible. Okay, a package upgraded, but why did that cause an issue? Packages upgrade basically every day, and OpenSSL has had a lot of upgrades as well. Why did this upgrade suddenly cause a problem? Well, you might have noticed with that SO file with that dynamic library that it had a number at the end, 1.1. And when you go from a version like 1.1.1 all the way up to 3.0, sometimes there's going to be some incompatibilities. And to make sure that doesn't cause a lot more of a problem, this is done. When packages like OpenSSL get a major version upgrade, the dynamic library that SO name gets an update. In the case of OpenSSL, the user slash lib slash libssl.so1 is replaced by user slash lib slash libssl.so3. 
as the ABI is incompatible with each other, what that implies is that all packages built towards the old library needs to be rebuilt towards the new library. In Arch, this work is organized between packages to ensure all 502 dependent packages are updated and patched. But that's only with the core repos. you notice when a package like OpenSSL gets a big update, a lot of other packages will also get version bumps as well, just to make sure they're now being pointed towards the correct library. But when we're talking about the AUR, you're basically on your own. So for AUR packages, the user needs to do this manually. This can be done by manually looking at the error message, which complains about the old library name, or using something like rebuild detector. Now, I didn't actually know about this, but this is a really, really cool idea. So this tool helps you find Arch Linux packages that were built against older versions of dependencies and therefore need to be rebuilt to function properly. Basically, it does that manual operation automatically and will dump out a big list for you. And this can be run as a Pac-Man hook, so every time you do an update, it'll tell you if anything needs to be rebuilt. Now, due to the end of that open SSL support period, at some point in the relatively near future, this swap had to happen. Now, they could have waited until, you know, September of 2023, but that's not exactly the um, best way to do a migration. By doing it about a year or so before, anyone who's going to take a while to upgrade their system by the time that this point rolls around, is going to be on the newer version. So there shouldn't be any issues with that, unless you're leaving your system for a really long time. Like, my laptop I've got sitting in a drawer, that'll probably still be on 1.1 for a long time, because I turn it on about once a year. But regular systems actually being used should be dealt with. Now, it is kind of weird to me that Arch wasn't already running the 3.0 series because generally you think of Arch maybe not as like bleeding edge or cutting edge, but still relatively the newest version of the software. Now, it's not like 1.1 just isn't being upgraded. The last update came out on November 1st, but even so, I would usually expect Arch to be over on 3.0 basically as soon as possible, and 3.0 has been out for quite a while, it's not like this suddenly just came out. I guess sometimes even Arch Linux wants to be using that well-used and well-tested release that is known to be stable. OpenSSL is not something you want to see breaking, you want this to basically be rock solid and not have to deal with it. Now, this is kind of an interesting time to do this migration, because a week ago, this got announced. Two very high severity buffer overrun exploits affecting everything up to 3.0.6. 3.0.7 was released to partially address this issue and partially address other things. I imagine they planned to do the migration like a week or so ago, but then this happened and they're like, you know what, let's put this off for a little bit. This seems like a bad time to do it. Now, one thing I really don't understand is why Arch Linux does not like to use their newsfeed. So on the newsfeed, the last thing on there is Python 2 being removed. But Foxbron did talk about this issue over on the Arch Linux subreddit. So is the Arch Linux subreddit the official place to get news on Arch? Or is it the Arch newsfeed? There seems to be more information coming to the subreddit than ever makes it to the feed anyway. So I guess this is where the official place to get news is now. If it's not, then you're handling the other one pretty poorly. But this time, I'll at least give them credit for posting about it somewhere. It's better than many of the other times that Arch Linux has had a problem. Now, speaking of problems, I've seen a lot of people handling their packages on Arch in a really, really bad way. So, do not do this. So this person went and checked their OpenSSL package, and it said a new version was available. So what they did is upgraded the individual package. And what happened then? Well, you know how I said when you do a system upgrade, all of the packages affected by this OpenSSL change are going to be rebuilt. They're gonna have a version push that's gonna make them work properly. Doing it like this does not achieve that. So what happens is then you break Pac-Man. Now this state can be recovered from, but it's not a state you want to be in. 
basically you would go and manually extract out the 1.1 package and then move the library over to where it needs to be, upgrade Pac-Man, upgrade the rest of your system, and then you're pretty much good to go. The other thing that isn't really recommended to do is install the 1.1 package. So in the core repos, there is an OpenSSL 1.1. This is only here for the sake of compatibility and addressing those packages in third-party repos that haven't been upgraded yet. But it shouldn't be relied on, and this is going to be removed. So you're better off making sure that everything you're running is upgraded to 3.0. And doing that upgrade, doing that rebuild, whatever you want to call it, is very straightforward if you're using an AUI helper. Now, in my case, my AUI helper stopped working. So the first thing I had to do is do that whole, like, git clone process and make package-si, which I never have to run because I have an AUI helper. Now, you could go and do that for all of your individual packages, but you have a helper, so you might as well go and use it. Now, I can't speak for every single one, but in Peru, there is a dash dash rebuild option. So let's say I wanted to rebuild something like CPU X, for example. We can go and run it on that package, and it's going to prompt me for the package I want, so the first one, and basically it's just going to go and do everything it needs to do for that and effectively just reinstall it. And when it's reinstalled, then it's going to be good to go. It might take a little bit of time, so I'll just cut back to when that is done. But again, if you're anything like me, and you don't upgrade your AUR packages very often, you may just have um, all of this, so you might just be able to rebuild them by doing an upgrade. I tend to only upgrade my AUR packages when something breaks. Maybe I'm weird, but I don't think I'm the only one. So in my case, the only thing I found that's broken is Peru. But without a doubt, something else that I didn't realize is broken that I'm going to run like a month or so from now is probably going to be broken. Now, what I should do is go and rebuild every single one of my AUR packages to make sure that nothing else is a problem. But that takes time. So I'm just going to fix things as they break and hopefully nothing else breaks. So far, we're good and maybe we'll be good into the future but maybe you'd prefer to fix it now, which I totally respect. So when we run a rolling release, there are going to be problems like this that just show up from time to time. If I didn't want them, I wouldn't run a rolling release, but let me know how you deal with problems like this. Do you go and keep up with all the news that's happening, or do things break and you're like, I don't know what's going on. Let's go to the internet and see what it says. I would love to know. So if you like this video, remember to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe to the Pay linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over T. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robertson Plays. That's going to be it for me. And I'm out.